Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about Snap SVG, which is a really cool library from the Adobe Web Platform uh, team. And uh, if you're like me, you know, you're aware of SVG. It's been around a long time, uh, but only recently has it kind of gotten into all the browsers. And, you know, lo and behold, I have not learned SVG. Like, I, I don't know how to write up SVG in its HTML or XML syntax, but I do know JavaScript and that's where Snap SVG comes into play. So what I'm gonna do here on the page, so I'm gonna create an SVG uh, element. I'm just gonna give it an ID of SVG and then I'm gonna jump straight to script. So in my script here, uh, I am gonna say var s equals snap so that's our library there. I'm just gonna pass in the ID of the SVG element that I created above, so SVG. And now I'm gonna create a circle and I'm gonna call it var my circle. Uh, so that's gonna equal s dot circle. I'm gonna pass in an X and a Y coordinate. I'm gonna pass in a radius. So let's just say 150, 150 and 100. And then I'm gonna give my circle some attributes. So my circle dot attribute that's going to take in an object and then we just pass in the keys uh, CSS style that we want to you know load up so I'm going to give it a fill of uh, I don't know foo I'm going to give it a stroke make that black I'm going to give it a stroke width this is like our border outline size i guess i'm just going to say two kind of arbitrary load that up and you know there's our circle uh then what's really neat is is we can create all sorts of interaction with very little code so my circle dot drag load that up and i can drag it around that's pretty cool okay so we can also do animation uh, so I'm going to create a little recursive function here. It's going to take in the, uh, I guess the current radius, maybe the next radius. I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm going to say var new radius is going to be, uh, so let's say if the current radius or the radius we passed in equals 50, then we're gonna change it to 100. Otherwise, we'll change it to 50. So we're always gonna be going back and forth between 50 and 100 in this case. And I'm just gonna say my circle dot animate. Now it's gonna pass in its new property. So in my case, it's just r equals r. And uh, then I'm gonna set that uh, on a timer here. So if, uh, I don't know why, 1500, that makes sense. Then I'm going to have a callback here, which just recursively calls back my loop, and then I'll pass in the new radius. Uh, so then down here, I just need to, uh, to kick that off, start at 50. So you can see it animating, it gets to 50, it goes back to 100, and I can drag it around the entire time. And it doesn't miss a beat. I mean, frame rate is fantastic. Uh, so there you go. That's a quick look at Snap SVG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a good one.